I love Britney Spears. She said, it's nothing like a woman who knows exactly what she wants. And I'm the kind of woman that I want what I want when I want it. Come on, ladies, let me hear you. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you what I want to do. Y'all, I want to learn how to swim. Anybody else want to learn how to swim? Thank you. It is never too late to learn how to swim, right? Child, the last time I was in some water was when I was seven years old and I got baptized. <laughs> okay? Okay? And then growing up, where I came from, you know, they would cock open the fire hydrant. Anybody know about this? Don't act like you don't know. And then put that stick in there and then that water come flying out and then all the teenagers would take you and throw you in the water. That was our communication and connection to the water. So that was my idea of the summer or the water hose. Anybody know about the water hose? Okay, I got one more. What about, you know what? That little pool that you used to get from like, <laughs> the little stuff around there, you fill it up. All could fit, only thing that could fit in there was a foot. So it wasn't gonna be too much swimming there. No, and then, you know I'm black, right? <laughs> this hair is not getting wet, okay? So that has discouraged me for many years from swimming. And it does not mean I'm afraid of the water. I just never really thought about learning how to swim. But this, well, I have my son, I made sure he knew how to swim at a young age because I did not learn, right? This was us this summer in St. Bart, Bart kayaking. Do you see this? I didn't last in there no time, and I was indulging like an all, well, trying to, or watching everybody else, and then they wanted me to give it a try. That's me attempting to do, you know, some of the water sports, but it's no fun if you don't know how to swim. It's scary, right? Yes. So that's something that has inspired me to really want to learn how to swim. And so I accept that challenge. So I decided I was going to call Ryan Lochte and ask him, you think he'll teach me? how to swim, because you will always see me try. It's never too late, and I want to encourage other people to give it a try. So any, I saw a few of y'all raise your hand. I'm going to hold you to it, and you at home, too. We're going to learn how to swim. So next summer, we're going to be out there like, <laughs> y'all going to look up and, oh, uh, uh, wait. Is, is, you know what that sound is? It is time for Knockstar. Hold the line. <laughs> season, we're surprising viewers right at their doors to give them a chance to win a cash prize. Helping us with our surprise today is our very own correspondent, Keaton. Where am I, Keaton? At? Look at this hair. You look good, girl. How are you, Keaton? Tell Thank me, you. Tell me who Thank we're you. surprising today. Okay, so today we're surprising Ian Tatum. He's the director of diversity at an all-girls school. Mm -hmm. Huge fan of yours. Oh. He loves music, supporting people, so we thought we'd give him a visit. Come oh, on. I love that. Let's go see. Let's knock on this door. Now, he home, ain't he? Ain't he supposed to be at school? Ain't he supposed to be at the school? I hope. Uh, hopefully he at home. <laughs> Maybe you may have to holler through you. that window right there. Get, that's cute, girl. <laughs> Ian, he may be at work, Keaton. Ian? Ian, you hoo You sure you at the Ian? right place? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I love this. Oh my God! <laughs> An extra hair ringing the bell. Okay, Jennifer. Yes. <laughs> we are at the wrong door today. I knew it! back for Ian. And we're going. We're going like, to go we'll, find him. We're, we're going go to go find him. Find Ian. We're looking for Ian. We're going to find Ian. <laughs> Ma'am said, so where is Ian? Ian? Ian! Ian, where are you? Ian. I love it. This is so funny. Okay. 
Keaton, I am highly entertained. Are we up? <laughs> Ian? Oh, Keaton. Looking for you, child. We so happy to see you. Well, surprise. <laughs> You're our knock star today. I am. I'm super surprised. I love you. Now, Ian, ain't you supposed to be at school? Hey, hey, wait a minute. Don't tell everybody my business. Uh -oh. Hold on. No, my supervisor knows I'm at home. <laughs> oh, okay. Now that Keaton has caught up breath, yeah. we got our Ian and y'all chew them on. Thanks for holding us down. Now, well, I could give, I could so give you... To, well, to see you. you know Jennifer loves her viewers, so we want to give you a chance to win a little something. But are you up for a challenge? Sure. Absolutely. Oh. I'm up for a challenge. Okay. <laughs> you ready to take a shot at music trivia? You going to win some music oh. trivia, Ian? Sure, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You don't need shoes. I may not win, <laughs> but yeah. I'll help you out. Everybody's <laughs> a winner at the Jennifer Hudson Show. We got this, baby. Now, if you get this that. right, if you get this right, you can okay. win two hundred and fifty dollars, and I got my two hundred fifty dollars right here. Okay. Okay. I, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. Listen closely, because I, yep. I, I I think you got this one. What '90s group warned okay. us that they don't want no scrubs? Y'all got. Oh, me. TLC. You better know it. <laughs> yeah. I love our first guest. He's an Emmy Award-winning dancer and choreographer who we know from Dancing with the Stars. Please welcome Derek Hubb. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, babe. I love you. How you doing? I am wonderful and I'm always so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you always. Oh my goodness. Now the last time in first season that I saw you, we had a little fun. We did. Mm -hmm. We did. You, you we, remember it? We did the dip. We did the dip. We did the dip. Y'all want to see our dip. <laughs> What? I have That's it. Nice. Oh, I'm gonna turn you this way. That's it. Point this way. That's it. Now watch this. Okay. I got you. Ah! Oh. There you go. Oh my gosh. I have never done that either, by the way. You did that. You, we did. I saw a picture of it outside. I was like, wait, that was us. We you know that picture's in my office too. It is. Yes, that's one of my favorite memories. Oh my gosh. Look, it's in there. Wait, I want one for my office. Okay. We gotta I don't have an in. office, let's be real. Oh, <laughs> you, do dancers not have an office? Like, or is the that- The dance floor is our office. The That's, dance yeah. floor. <laughs> so is the dip your signature move? Um, I guess. I, I guess it's like one of those things where if you're not sure what to do, you just, you just dip. Has it ever not gone right? It, it, there's been times when it hasn't gone right. There was one time actually, I went salsa dancing with Jennifer Lopez and we're dancing. And we're having a good night. We're sweating. The live band's playing. It's, it's, it's steamy. It's going great. This is several years ago. And I dip her. I go, wah. And I step on her hair. <laughs> and I pull her back up. But her hair didn't come back up. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? But she, but by the way, she didn't miss a beat. She was like, she was like, da 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 She picked it up. da 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 and I, I had no idea. I had no idea what happened. And then later in the night, she goes, Derek, do you know what you did? I was like, Show you the time of your life, what's up? <laughs> and she's like, no, you pulled out my hair. She has a chunk of it. I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh no. And then the next day she was like, hey, do you want to do a project with me? I was like, fantastic, because I thought our friendship was over. <laughs> mm -mm. But yeah. That is a story. A story, a story. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, congratulations. You just got married? I did. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness. <laughs> I see your, uh oh, put a ring on it. <laughs> Wow, yes. that is beautiful. There we are. That's actually AI. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it, it's so beautiful. No, it, it, we got that picture back. We're like, that doesn't even look real. This, this is so special. It was such a beautiful, beautiful weekend. It was, it was magical. It really was. You, you know it. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I love you guys. So, I got to ask, like, what was the dance floor like? It had to be insane. Like, the reception? It was fun. I mean, you know, it started out, funnily enough, with like a mosh pit. Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah, because my, my best man, Mark Ballas, he did this best man speech, and at the end of it, he was kind of recalling to when we were kids, when we used to go to heavy metal concerts and rock concerts, and 
and we started out with the big crowd surf to corn. So that's how it started. Oh my goodness. Um, but then my dad was break dancing at one point. I'm like, what, no, what, is, what are you doing over there? <laughs> um, but it was it was a lot of fun, a lot of dancing, literally till the, to the the end of the night. It was awesome. Man, that would have been a sight to see. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Are you used to wearing your wedding ring yet? Um, I am, in, except for when I'm dancing, because I, you know, I'll dance, snap, and I, I clap, and just in that exact moment, my whole hand and arm went numb. <laughs> just, <laughs> that, that's what happens. I'll clap and I hit it. So I haven't got used to that part yet. Not yet. But uh, but it feels good. I it like feel, it. You Every look, time you I look good hands, wearing like, it. There it is. I'm proud of you. Oh. <laughs> Derek is married now. Your oh. <laughs> wife is so lovely. Honeymoon. It looked amazing. Wait, I'm wearing the same shirt right now in that picture. <laughs> I love that you called yourself out, That's though. amazing. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> is that your favorite shirt, Derek? I mean, it is now. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> love that. So, the honeymoon. Like, what was that like? Did, where did y'all go? Well, I only had one shirt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, the honeymoon was fantastic. We went to Italy. We went all over. We were in Lake Como. We went to Rome. We went to, uh, uh, oh my God, Tuscany. We were all over the place. Um, we even stayed in this ancient city called Matera, which is 10,000 years old. It's the third oldest city in the world where we literally stayed. Our room was a cave. A it cave? Was, it was a cave. It was wild. It was really cool. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah, yeah. Did you just jump in that water, though? That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> what kind of swimming that take? <laughs> we're... we're... <laughs> I heard that you needed to learn how, you yes. wanted to learn how to swim, so I was like, okay, do we need to, I can teach Look, you. Look, you flipped me around last time, Derek. I don't know about this. I'm just sitting here like, oh my God. <laughs> so tell me about this big tour you got going on. Yeah, I'm on tour currently right now, doing 60 cities all across the country. Um, and this show is really, really special. It's I've so done beautiful. so many different live shows, but this one, the, the dancers, the choreography, the costumes, the lighting, the live band, I mean, it is, it's like a full Broadway production, it really is. I put my heart and soul into this thing, and I have to say that the audience's reaction yeah. has been unlike anything I've experienced in all my tours and all my shows that I've done. Um, so it's, it's something special is happening, it's, and, I, and I love it. it. I it love looks it. amazing, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you so much. I love that. Thank you. And I'm dancing with my wife. <gasps> my wife is on the road with me too, so we're, you know, we're dancing on the floor every night. Well, will you stick around for a little bit? You know I will, let's do it. I got my friend, Mr. Derek. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back with Mr. Derek Huff. Oh my, so the new season of Dancing with the Stars and you're back as a judge. Yes. How is that season going? It's going great. It's been a lot of fun. We're back on ABC, which is fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great cast. It's a lot of, you know, just different people. That's what I love about Dancing with the Stars. Is you have this eclectic group of people from all different walks of life, all crammed into a ballroom, and then we go, dance. <laughs> yeah. And it's just, it, it's fantastic. It's so much fun, and I love it. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I love it. I love your passion. You just, you can tell you love dance. I do. I love dance. You know, I, I love dance so much, um, I, and I really believe that we, we all dance. We really do. You really? Know I, I think so. I mean, during the break, I was dancing with my man over here. Yes. I see you. It was so good. Yeah. Damn, I see you. I think it's in us all, you know? I think, I really believe that motion equals emotion. The way we move our bodies directly Ooh, affects- motion the, equals emotion. Yeah, the way we move affects the way we feel, you know? So I, I really love, you know, getting people dancing and having fun and, and uh, yeah. And I, if anything, we, we are a dance. We are a beautiful choreographed masterpiece to perfection. Every time we open our eyes, we are a dance. Okay. I feel that. See, Derek, as you was talking, see, that's how I feel about singing, right, in music. Yeah. So every day I wake up with a song. Yes. Like how I come out here with a song. So do you wake up and just bust out like with a move? <laughs> I mean, up. during you know? tour, I, I go full out every night, so I wake up like this, go, uh, <laughs> uh, oh. and, then, and, then I'm like, and then I'm like, okay, now it's time to go. See, uh -huh. that's what I imagine. <laughs> I'm but it like, takes a few clicks, a few pops, and that okay. pops, you know, yeah. <laughs> okay, so, but that was smooth, though. See, I figured it was something like that. Okay, so the last time you were here, yeah. you dipped me back. I did. What's something you could do, like, as far as dancing that can top that? Oh. Um, okay, okay. All right. Okay, so on my tour, <laughs> okay, okay. On my tour, I actually do something. It's a ritual I've done for years now where I get people up out of the audience. Mm -hmm and I jump over their heads. Oh. It's a little stunt, and sometimes it can be dangerous. 
Should we try it right now? Yes. Let's do it. That sounds but like... I, but I need, I need some... You need some volunteers? 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 Want to do it? Anyone? Okay, hold up. Okay, let me go find somebody. I'm glad it's not you. We'll find some people here. It's on y'all. Okay, <laughs> let's go see. You got, anybody want to do this? She try it. Not for it. Try it. You guys want to come here? We need a few come, people. You guys come up here. Um, you okay. guys want to come? Sure. We'll keep it close. All right, come on, come on, come on. Give them a hand, y'all. Right. Okay. Okay, so I need tall. Who's the tallest? Oh, we're all kind of the same little height. Okay, interesting. Okay, come come over here. Yeah, yeah, right here, right here. Right. Is this what we do? Okay, you face this way, like this. Okay. Come in here. Uh huh. Just like so. Face that way. Face that way. You're gonna come over here. Face that way. Face that exactly right. And you're gonna come right over here. Thank you guys. Now I need you to put your heads down. Put your heads down like so. Good. Like now and now open your open your legs a little wider. There you go. Head down. There you go. Beautiful. This is so okay. Good. Usually there's like music playing here. A lot of energy. We need music. It's all this. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Woo! Jesus, I'm nervous. Oh my God. Don't Barry, you got it. Oh Lord. Oh, yeah, go Father Derek. Go. on ABC and Disney Plus. Woo child, we'll be right back. How did you do that? <laughs> Welcome back. My producers have been telling me all about these new reality dating shows, and it got me thinking, y'all have some funny ways to find love these days. We're calling this the Dating Download. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bianca, our producer, is going to fill us in. Let's talk about The Golden Bachelor first. Yeah, okay, so uh, who here has seen The Golden Bachelor? Any fans of The Golden Bachelor? <laughs> Super popular new show um, on ABC. For those of you who haven't seen it, it's a Bachelor spinoff, and it is a show for people looking to find love in their 60s and 70s. It's the first of its kind. We had Gary Turner on the show. He's adorable. I think you had a little bit of a crush on him, right? Jennifer? Yeah, a little yep. Bit. He's so adorable. So the thing with Gary is that he was married once before for 40 years to his high school sweetheart. Mm -hmm. um, and here he is now in his 70s, and he's looking for his second shot at love. So it begs the question, can you have more than one true love in your life? Let's see. Where is Wendy? Wendy, I think we have. OK, Wendy, what do you think? Do you think you can have more than one true love in your life? No, I am so in love with my husband. We've been married 11 years, and we have that notebook kind of love. Oh, You know, nice. that Noah and Allie kind of love. So I'm just so in love with him. I don't ever see myself falling in love with anyone else. I, I can see that. I think that, yeah. you know, you have one true love, and then you can have different types of loves. But I, I'm the same with Wendy. I think one true love. Jennifer, what do you think? Man, not the him. Wendy, I'm, I, 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 like, I like your notebook, love, and you too, Bianca. But, I mean, I'd imagine you could have another love in another lifetime, too. It may not be that same love. Yeah. But you can have love again, because real love never dies. Yes. That's all I got. <laughs> okay, what's the next show? Okay, so who here has heard of 90 Day Fiance? Do we have 90 Day Fiance fans? Okay. I'm a huge fan of 90 Day Fiance. It's a show about international couples who have 90 days to either get married um, or call it quits, which seems kind of crazy, but it makes for great television. <laughs> so it does bring up the question, do you think 90 days is long enough to commit to someone and get married? No. Who do we have here? Where, where's Hansel? I know people have a lot of different opinions. Oh, Hansel, what do you think? What you is, is 90 days, I personally, I don't think it's enough. I, you know, I think you need at least need a year, but what do you think, Hansel? Well, it's one of those things where you just know. If you know, you know. It's an instant connection. <laughs> okay. If you know, you know. Anyone else have a different opinion? Anyone else. What's your name? You can come over here. Hi, my name is Jalen. Hi, Jalen. Okay, what's your opinion? I just don't, I think a year for me personally, I just don't think, like, you may know at that moment, but, like, a month can change a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. I think you need the seasons. I don't know. Jennifer, what do you think? Thank you. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to need way longer than 90 days. 
because you know what I mean? You want to get a sense of the true self. And I think it, it, you can hide that for 90 days and end up with a whole nother somebody else after that. So, you know, if, if love is going to last, you can take your time. You know what I mean? You got time. So you got to give me more than 90 days. I love that. You got to give me more than 90 days. Now it's getting, ooh, that was tough. You got one more. Yeah, so What's one this? more. Um, okay, so Love is Blind. We have to have Love is Blind fans in here. It's a, real, it's a super hot show oh. on Netflix right now. Um, and it's where singles are looking for love and they get engaged, but all before meeting in person. Uh, so now I want to know, the question is, is love really blind? Can you fall in love with someone without being physically attracted to them? So where is Tracy? I think Tracy has opinions over here. <laughs> Run to Tracy. Hmm. So what do you think? Can, can you fall in love with someone without being physically attracted? Yes. Okay. Why do you think that? Well, uh, I was married for 25 years. I'm a widow. Okay. But I went on a date to Germany for two months. I went back and forth to Germany every six months. He was fine. We were together for two years. And then my current boyfriend, I met him on the freeway. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry, can you explain that? Hold on, hold on. In Please. traffic. He, In traffic. He was honking, and I turned to look, and he says, write my number down. Oh. And okay. I said, We're, what? He said, the traffic isn't moving. Find a pin. I'm like, I don't have a pin. I found a pin, wrote his number down, and I talked to him for three months, 90 days. Okay. Oh, okay. We've been together two years. Wow. Okay. That's why we had. So okay. okay. It works. So okay, so Jennifer, I think I think that you can fall in love with someone without being physically attractive to them, but I think to stay in love you have to be physically attracted. I don't know, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Well, I do want to see you. Yeah. So um I, I think, you know, it kind of goes into what's the, all the love languages and all of that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, some is physical, was it touch and... Touch, think, gifts. All of those things, mm -hmm. right? So I need a little bit of that, which means I need to see you. Yeah. Okay? Look you upside your head. I agree. To be able to, you know, curate that companionship and love. At least that's what I need for my life. Yeah. I don't know about y'all, but, you know... That's good. Mary, right. is that all right? That's what yeah. Jennifer needs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know what? At the end of the day, there are many ways to find love, but don't ever give up on that love. You keep looking for it and keep trying. And love is love, right? So thank you, Bianca. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back. I love this next story. It's about a mother and a son. Take a look. My name is India, and my son's name is Kamai. We started with everything against us. I found out I was pregnant when I was 16. I was kicked out of my parents' home. I moved into a women's shelter for the first year of Kamayu's life. He learned how to walk there. The first few years of his life, um, I more than struggled. I did get food stamps. We were struggling, but I had no idea because my mom blocked that world for me. Getting my bachelor's degree was a life goal. Sorry. Time doesn't dim the dream. It just changes the plan to get there. I originally enrolled in Georgia State in 2015. Had my seven-year-old. I picked it up in 2019. Started my associate at Georgia State in 2021 at 16 years old. In 2023, we graduated from Georgia State University on the same day, hours apart. I thought I was gonna be the first to graduate from college in my family, but we both were. The fact that we finished at the same time was God's plan. It is important for me to work even harder knowing that my mom has struggled. I told her one day I would make sure that she's financially free. She definitely inspires me every day to work hard and to keep going to my goals. He's the reason I keep fighting because He's just an, an amazing young man, and I'm just proud. Great. I'm proud that we were able to accomplish this together. There's ugliness in our stories, but there's also power and triumph and resilience and determination. And that's what I hope to share. Surprise from Atlanta, Georgia. Please welcome India and Kamayu. Come on down.
grab the mics. Get him one. There you go. Y'all all right? You surprised yet? Uh, yes. <laughs> India, you okay? I'm working on <laughs> it. Oh. Uh, what about you, Kamal? You? I don't even cry. I had a few tears coming down. I was like, I was surprised. Well, y'all deserve every tear of joy. Thank you. For what you have done. What do you think of your journey and the outcome of it, first of all? It's one of those things that you'll see it on TV, you'll see it on movies, but you never think it'll happen to you. Like, if that makes sense. Yes. You know? It's just inspiring. It is. It inspired me seeing your story. Aren't y'all inspired? <laughs> what you got to say, Mom? I just, it was all, it makes it all worth it. Yep. Just being able to go through this journey with him. Mm. Um, so many times it got hard, but we just kept pushing. I kept going through it. But one thing I love that he said is, she shielded me from it. Ooh. I didn't want him to know everything that we were going through, the times when I had to feed him before I fed myself. That is a mother's love. That is for sure. Mm -hmm. Your relationship is inspiring too. You know, along with the things you've been able to accomplish together. So I admire that as well. How does it feel that you guys got to graduate together? What is that like? When I found out that we were going to graduate together, I went to him and I said, I don't want to take your shine. Mm. I don't want to take this special moment from you. Is it all right? Do you remember what you said? Uh, yeah, I, I told her it was cool. Like, it was like, I was, <laughs> I, I told her I wasn't, I wasn't really tripping. Like, it's a moment, of course, it's great to share by yourself, but to share it with your mom, the person you've known your whole life that you feel like knows you best, it just makes it that much more special. How beautiful this is. Oh. India, why was graduating so important to you? It was important for two reasons. Um, when I got pregnant at 16, um, I remember I was still looking through colleges because education is important to me. Mm -hmm. um, and my father, out of hurt, he said, why are you looking at colleges? You'll never graduate. Mm -hmm. And as painful as that was to receive from my father, it was no way I was going to let him <laughs> be right. I just couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just couldn't do it. I, I, I couldn't let him be right. And then... Um, I got married, uh, well, before we got married, my husband and I were dating and things just kind of worked out. He asked me to marry him, I said yes, <laughs> and the time was right. And then I got pregnant and then I went back again and COVID happened and then we got through it, 2019 to 2023. We actually made a bet um, with each other, well, kind of a, a secret bet, mm -hmm. to try to get as many scholarships as we could. So we would find scholarships and send them to each other um, that actually allow him to get the Gates Scholarship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> was amazing. Wow. But we pushed each other um, because college is expensive. I had to pay for the last year of his associate's degree. Mm. Um, and you did just that. Tell me what inspires you most about your mom? What inspired me the most was that it, w the things she had to go through at her age is similar to the things that I have to go through at my age, mm. except she had a kid. So it changed the whole course. And it's like, that could easily happen to me. I could easily go down a similar path. But she preaches to me a lot, like, don't make the decisions that I did. I don't regret them, but they definitely changed the course of my life. Because she was on a similar path. Like, she was getting scholarships. She had like a 4.0 GPA, getting accepted to prestigious universities. But then that all changed once she had a baby. So now what inspires me the most is that <laughs> I'm going to take away the same powerful messages she t is pouring into me and just becoming a better man. So like I said, she can be financially free. Mom, you are good yourself. <laughs> you are good yourself. We taking tips from you. Oh, my God. Well, I got you, you know, we had to make you some here. I got you a custom J Hood cap. That it's gonna come on out for you oh. today. Oh, we gotta give you something. <laughs> Y'all inspired us so much. Congratulations. Will you stick around a little bit? I'm so proud of y'all. All right, Mom, then we'll be right back. We're back with India and Kamayu. Mom and son who made the headlines for graduating the same day from college, which is awesome. <laughs> Now, India, I know I caught you off guard. What, what, what are you feeling? What do you want to say about your story? And why was it important for you guys to share your story? 
our, my story, our story is important because we had so many naysayers. Mm. So many people told us that, someone actually told me I was going to ruin his life by having him, yes. So we had so many naysayers and our story was important to share because we wanted to communicate that you can do it regardless. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't believe it. My father was in pain when he said what he said, but it pushed me to keep going. So we share our story to keep going. Keep going. Even when it's hard, even when life is against you, keep going. I love that message. So what is next for you guys? Well, for me, uh, I, I go to the University of Georgia now. So yeah, I'm from, I'm from, we're from Atlanta, so to Los Angeles. That was a nice flight, but <laughs> uh, I'm, going, I'm at the University of Georgia now. I'm a double major uh, with psychology and exercise and sports science. Nice. Then, uh, yeah. then it's uh, my master's program. So then I'm gonna do a master's in sports psychology. Then I'm gonna go to doc, go get my doctorate of psychology. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Now, is there anything that you never told your mom? I, I have a poem written for you as well. I write poems, so. You write poems too? Yeah, so I like, wrote like a little poem for her and stuff like that. Um, but I, I'm, I am just really proud of you. And to know what you had to go through now at 18 that I didn't know at one, at five, at 10, at 14, because you did such a good job at just making sure that I had what I had and we had what we needed. So I just thank you every day for all the lessons, all the car talks, everything. You have me in tears. Wow. It's just waterworks. I'm just proud of them. I mean, you think when, I mean, other options were there. You know, someone, I was told to give him up for adoption, but I just couldn't imagine not being able to pour positively into him, into another person. Um, it's so important to tell people how you feel when, you, when you're there and pour a positive world. It's so much negativity yes, in the world. Yes, ma'am, it is. Thank you, sweetie. That was so beautiful. Now, India, do you have any student debt? Uh, <laughs> a little bit. My, I, was, I was blessed. My, my job did help with some tuition reimbursement, but I have a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, <laughs> our friends at JCPenney continues to stand with communities and serve hardworking families just like yours. They are committed to helping people make every moment count, and they are giving you $10,000 to help pay off your student debt. <laughs> Here you go. You are so deserving. Please continue to put positivity in the world. You already made a whole human being to do it. Congratulations to both of you for this institution. Bless you. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Oh my God. And thank you, JCPenney. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.